السلام عليكم Microtubules In the previous lesson, we talked about the proteins that make up the cytoskeleton. Microtubules, microfilaments, also called actin filaments, and intermediate filaments. Microtubules are the largest among the proteins that make up the cytoskeleton. As the diameter of actin filaments is 7 nanometers, The intermediate filaments are from 8 to 10 nanometers, and the diameter of microtubules is 25 nanometers. The microtubules consist of proteins called alpha tubulin and beta tubulin that join to form a protofilament, and 13 of these protofilaments will form one microtubule. They have a positive end and a negative end. The negative end begins with the alpha tubulin, and the positive end ends with beta tubulin. The most important function of microtubules is that they form a pathway for the movement of vesicles in the cell, as they are connected between every two corners in the cell. For example, they transport vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum to the Golgi apparatus, from the Golgi to the membrane, and so on. All these transports take place on the microtubules, with the help of some proteins, kinesin and dynein. The two proteins, kinesin and dynein, differ in terms of direction. In neurons, for example, the protein kinesin transports vesicles toward the positive end, beta tubulin, that is, upward towards the brain, and we call this path anterograde. And the protein dynein transports vesicles toward the negative end, alpha tubulin, that is, from the brain down towards the extremities, and we call this path retrograde. Microfilaments also play a role in cell division, as they are the main component of the centriole responsible for the separation of DNA during cell division. We'll learn more about this in the genetics series. Microtubules are at the same time a component of cilia, flagella, and stereocilia, and these structures will be discussed in detail in the next lesson. Now let's do a quick review. Microtubules are the largest among the cytoskeletal proteins. It consists of proteins called alpha-tubulin and beta-tubulin. One of its functions is to transport vesicles to and from anywhere in the cell with the help of the proteins, kinesin, and dynein. It also plays a role in cell division by forming the centriole. And it is also involved in cilia, flagella, and stereocilia. This concludes our discussion about the subject. If you want to test your knowledge by solving the questions, continue the video. We say that the protein dynein and kinesin are the ones that carry out the process of transporting vesicles aboard the microtubules. We say that the proteins dynein and kinesin are the ones that carry out the process of transporting vesicles aboard the microtubules. The microtubule consists of 13 protofilaments, each of which is composed of alpha tubulin and beta tubulin. The microtubules polymerize starting with the negative alpha tubulin and ending with the positive beta tubulin.